What's going on YouTube? I'm back with some RC cars again and uh, these are some little little RC cars that I maybe showed a long time ago but I didn't do any running video and my right now my light doesn't seem to be working so I'll have to just use my other one um, but anyways so these are these are um, adventure by adventure force they're sold in Walmart for 10 bucks. They're 2.4 gigahertz. They charge off the transmitter and they have all the features that a regular RC car would have except for proportional steering. So it's got um, reverse forward, left and right. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of these little guys. So this is the truck here. You can see it's a it's a rather bulky car. It's not super light, but it ain't super heavy. Um, it is a, on the lighter end, but it feels a good light, not like trash light. You got an on and off switch there, and you got your charging port there, and that's pretty much it. There are no lights on this little RC car, and it is fairly small. It's a small little RC car, and uh, this is my favorite. I love this guy, it runs very good, uh, it doesn't really tip over too much. So you got the same thing, steering trim, on and off button, charging port, no lights. And uh, built pretty, very well, I would say these are built pretty good. If they fall or whatever happens, they're not going to break, that's for sure. Um, they're pretty good, they're pretty well made. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm really sorry about this because my light is just not it a lot of my lights blew out in my house as well because of these rainstorms and stuff all this lightning but anyways let's go back to these cars so here's the transmitter we didn't get to look at that we'll go ahead and look at the transmitter here and the transmitter is uh, very nice very nice transmitter. It doesn't look too bad. You know, sometimes they can get horrible looking, but it's not too bad. You know, it's got your up, down, and left and right. And you can see it's, remember, it's 2.4 gigahertz. And it even says it back here, right there, is where it says 2.4 gigahertz. I don't know if I can get that in for you guys. If this so you got 2.4 gigahertz transmitter um here's your charging port there and uh, just in case if you're having any issues um i know that sometimes people buy these and then they don't know if it's charging or not so i'll go ahead and show you so it's going to get a little dark so that we can see the red light so let's go ahead and uh, turn the red light on and you see the way it's beeping it's like almost like it's um beeping but as a light okay so then we get the rc car we pop it in here and just go ahead and turn that off and turn it back on and you can see now that it how it's blinking if it's blinking just slowly that means it's charging so you just let that little guy charge up and uh, after that you will be able to use it but charging time is quite some time. It's not very fast. I would say about 20 minutes, 25, but it lasts for about 40 minutes. And it, it has very good speed, faster than even the Coke can cars. So if you have a little Coke can car, which I have, uh, I believe I showed you guys it, but it never did a review or anything. Um, such a small car, you know, but it is an awesome little car. Pretty cool, and especially for the price. But anyways, um, like I said, this little guy, what was I saying? Man, I forgot. But anyways, that's a... Uh, yeah, so this little guy runs on four AA batteries. It's pretty good. It's way faster than a Coke can car. It's even built a little bit better than a Coke can car. And it costs the same price as a Coke can car. Considering some of those things could be around 15 bucks and this is $10 in Walmart If you go to Walmart go to the RC part, you'll see these somewhere up on a shelf um, 
If you do not see them there, go around the other aisle in the next aisle where the die cast cars are at. And uh, that's where you should find these. They'll run you about 10 bucks. They have uh, different colors sometimes, but they go very fast. They go almost as fast as, as uh, they put them out. People grab them, throw them in their basket, they buy them. You know, $10 to uh, shut a kid up, I guess they will do that, you know. Um, not to mention people come in and jack them as well. I just know that every time I go there, these will be there for like a few minutes, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then they're all gone. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool little RC car. We'll go ahead and pop this back off so you guys can look at the batteries. I just got some cheap batteries in there right now. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have any more rechargeables. Every All these RC cars I'm getting seem to be taking all my um, batteries. I don't have any more rechargeable batteries, so I'm starting to buy some of these. And what I did is I bought these. These are pretty cool batteries. They're not totally cheap. I bought these in a uh, department store where I buy those RC cars. And you can get them for $24 for about 6 bucks. So let's go ahead and uh, test this little guy out. We'll test out the car. No, we'll test out the truck. So here's the truck transmitter. We'll go ahead and turn the little guy on. Turn on the control and there it is now you stop me so let's go ahead and lift that up so you guys can see oh yeah you got up I tipped over on my side man I suck at driving these the truck is kind of harder to control a little bit, but you can see they travel at a decent rate. Look at that little guy. He, he does get, get, get some speed there. Yeah, I see I fell over on my side here. And I can't get out, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. I'm gonna grab this little car, turn it on. I'm going to turn this guy on. See this one right here, I, I like it a lot because it doesn't tip over. So I would suggest grabbing this one here. There it is, I just fixed that little guy. So now the truck is able to ride, drive as well now. I just hit it and it tipped over. Shots, so you guys could see. I mean, they're pretty cool. They, they maneuver pretty decent. You can see it's not too bad. It's definitely fun to um, screw around with these, even if you're not an RC person. Like maybe you don't like playing with RC cars, but this one right here is an exception because it's really small. It practically costs nothing. And it's a pretty cool little RC car. I would say it's worth 10 bucks. It's worth like 15. That's 15 bucks for this little guy, but it's only 10 bucks in Walmart. Their yeah, brand is Adventure Force. And they make some pretty cool things. They make that red metal racer, which I'm going to make another video of the metal racer. And uh, I don't really want to ruin it though, so I won't be putting no six point battery in that. Or any of. Uh, I'll put a 4.8 top, that's it. Because I really like the RC car. The metal racer is a, it's a pretty cool car. And I like it. It's crap, but it's my crap. So you can see these little trucks. These little cars work really good. They really kill. You can kill some time, you know? Um, if you got 
So you got kids, you and your son or daughter, um, you can go ahead and play with them, drive them around. Even girls like messing around with these these RC cars, these little ones. They're like, oh, it's so cute. So they, they like playing around with my little girls. I have girls, so they mess around with the, these little guys and drive them around. Until all of their hair gets caught up in the wheels and it won't spin anymore. And then they put it down and pretend they didn't mess with it. So you can see it. It does run. The, the truck seems to be more charged up. I can tell. It's like I wanted to show you guys them driving. But I just don't have a way to do that. I don't have a camera man. They are pretty cool, though. And they last a long time. Like, you, you'll be able to play with it like three or four times, and then you'll notice it's dead. And right now, I have them both on, and they're not interfering with one another either. They're both on right now, and they're not interfering with one another at all. Or I'll spray out the truck would be moving. Although, oh, he fell down. Although you can use the same transmitter for the for the other RC car. So say I wanted, say I lost my transmitter to my little race car one, the race car uh, style one, then I would be able to use the truck one. It, it'll work for it, but it won't interfere though. Let me see back the lift. See, he got stuck over there. Oh, come on. Maybe I can whack them and then flip it over. I can hit them. I uh, know. I really don't feel like scratching up that little guy's top there. Alright. So you see, I have a. Today I, it's raining outside, so because it's raining. I can't go outside, so I have all these little RCs in here. Let me bring that truck back over here. Wrong one. Just the only thing when you when I sp speed them up on the tile, they bounce when they go to the cracks, and sometimes they tip over. So that kind of sucks a little bit. But if you don't have tiles, then you won't have to worry about that. Wood floor is the best for these guys. Or outside even. They run really good outside on clean concrete, like the sidewalk. Alright, that one went off the ramp. You go off the ramp with this one. Oh man, truck almost made that. Come on, flip it. Nah, I'm just messing it up. Alright. So, here they are. Pretty cool. Adventure Force did a pretty decent job on these. And, like I said, they are faster than a Colt Can car. You know? And they're 2.4 gigahertz. That's the thing about those Colt Can cars. They're really cool. They got lights, but they, they run on um old 20... 7 megahertz and 49 megahertz and whatever 32 or 30 megahertz so, so they run on those and they don't you'll lose signal a lot but i i really like the style of the coke can car because it's just reminds me of a kid, when i was a kid but it does look pretty cool so i was just screwing around with all these little miniatures in the house today because of the rain Yeah, and uh, this one, I just painted its rims white. I just went with the white because I guess the chrome just didn't look right. That's what I did to that one. And this one, I, uh, I put black tape, electrical tape, all the way around. See the bumper? So I made like my own little, uh, you know, like, how do you say the spoiler kit? Or like a body kit? See that? More like a spoiler. Like lips. A front lip and a, and a back lip. And then these two 
side ones here. So you see, it looks pretty cool. It looks a lot more aggressive now when it's on the floor. Like it looks like more lower than it used to before. It was a little higher because of that. But it definitely looks more aggressive like that. So if you want to copy that, um, if you got a little car um, and it, the body is not as low to the floor as you would like it, just use some black tape and and it'll be it'll work out really nice. And it doesn't fall off. If you use real black tape, not that 99 cent store stuff. But anyways, yeah, so I definitely recommend these little RC cars. And especially for the price, $10 is not bad. And everybody goes to Walmart and everybody has at least 10 bucks. So I'll probably do another video of them on an actual little course that I'll build with cardboard. But uh, not today. But I, I am going to do more because I have some other ones I wanted to show you guys. Uh, those are Colt can cars though. So I'll make a video when I do that. Um, do a little course for you guys. So thanks a lot for watching. And uh, keep an eye out on these in Walmart for 10 bucks by Adventure Force. Definitely worth the money. A little loud. But I heard of some guy modding them on YouTube where he takes them apart and greases them up and then they get really slow. I mean, um, they get really low. You can't hear the gears um, grinding, not grinding, but spinning. And it maybe boosts the speed. I don't know. But people do mod them on YouTube. So I guess they must be pretty cool. Although you won't find a ton of videos, but you will find some. So they're pretty cool for 10 bucks. I think it's definitely worth it. Even if you're not an RC um, collector, just something to goof around it with in the house. Maybe chase a cat or something, you know, screw around with the dog. It's not bad. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I'll be back with the... Uh, I think I'll, I'm coming back with some gaming videos. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and uh, I'll be back with some more videos.